Hello and welcome everyone to my first and only playthrough of The Forest. I decided to do this now because Sons of the Forest is around the corner, or should be at some point, and with the release of the sequel, I wanted to know what happened in the original. I played this many, many years ago, but I never really finished the story. I never really found out what happened to Timmy. I think it's time. It's time we rescue our son. It's time we find out the mysteries behind the forest. Let's get this started. Going on single player, we're going to choose new game. And because we're absolute animals, we're going to choose hard survival. Let's get this started. Now, like many other survival games before and after, the game starts with a plane. Uh, you can guess what's going to happen next. But for now, we get to look around the area here. And we will notice there's other passengers. There's my beautiful son, Timmy, with his toy, of course. We have some delicious plain food and our book. Now, I know this because I played before and there's been, you know, kind of speculation as to what this is. Little hints all around the plane. Uh, I won't give away too much because I do know some things. But note that this book over here says for Timmy. This is how we know his name. And it is a survival guide written by who I believe is me. As expected, things are about to go very well. You can see. My boy. No. How does one recover after that? How does one survive? We're about to find out. Now, one thing that has always bothered me about survival games is how much actual stuff we disregard. I know there's stuff to pick up, like there's some food here, you know, some cans of Coke. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go with Coke. It's definitely not Pepsi. Some booze. But, you know, these seats would be amazing for survival. There's cushions here that you can tear down for insulation. There's cloth here. And this whole plane in general, there's still some sort of lighting going on here. Maybe the bathrooms still work. Maybe you can get it back online somehow. Uh, I don't know. It just seems like such a good spot to just leave. <laughs> I, I don't get it. Uh, we're full right now, but I'm going to go ahead and eat because I'm not coming back here probably anytime soon. <gasps> I just saw a bunny. We missed our first meal. But yeah, we're going to abandon her. You can stab her a bit and get her dressed, but guys, this seems a little bit brutal, a little bit unnecessary. I think I grabbed everything from here. There's not a whole lot on hard survival, but we have enough, guys. We have enough. I'm going to go ahead now and break down these suitcases. They're the, about the most real thing that you would do whenever you would have a plane crash. You gotta get all the loot, you know? There's a reason why it's all here. So let me find the rest of these and then we'll make a plan for the rest of the day because on hard survival, you have to, you have to get going or things are going to go bad. Things are going to go bad quickly. Another suitcase. A little bit of stuff. I appreciate it. Pick up all the sticks that you can. Uh, sticks, leaves, rocks, all of that is pretty good. You have a set amount that you can carry, but it's still pretty sweet. Oh, there's another one. I believe there's four suitcases total on Hard Survival. So, this should be it. Oh, yes, some electrical tape. Beautiful. That's gonna come really in handy. Um, I think, I think we're pretty much done, so... If you guys don't know, the plane does spawn in different locations. It's not always in the same spot. So we're going to have to find our bearings, find our way. Okay, we can sneak up to these. Just look down. And you can stab them. The birds are one of the easiest ways to get meat. They're not that bad. You get some feathers too, they'll fly around, if you notice. 
And uh, I think that worked out, guys. We can't eat just every plant, so be a little bit careful. The blue ones are good, but the other ones might not be so, so good. You can only carry a limited amount of meat, so there's no reason for you to kill so many, so many birds. But let's take a look here and see where we are. Uh, clearly, we are on the side of the ocean. Okay, that's good. This is a good uh, indicator, I suppose, of where we're supposed to go. The yacht area is over here, which we will investigate. Very nice. So, I believe if we go that way, it is north. I just know this from playing before. But if you haven't played before, this is a good way to tell. If you do hit the ocean and you see um, this big, uh, what is it, like little islet, whatever this happened, this, this mountain thing. And then uh, the yacht here, left of the yacht looking towards the ocean is south, and right of the yacht is north. I know that because there's a huge mountain right there. You just can't see it from here. But uh, having a little bit of knowledge of the map it will will definitely help. But I mean, guys, we are in hard survival. We need to know a little bit of something. Otherwise, we're going to die. I'm going to go down this path here. And I can't quite remember exactly where it was. I think I will want to position myself somewhere around here for my base. It seems like a nice location. Um, it's more centered, which is going to be much easier to get around. Going all the way to the south is going to be a pain every time. But we're making a run for it, you know. I am pretty sure it's here, and I'm pretty sure I don't have to kill too much to get it. I'll just make sure we don't get spotted by any patrols. So, uh, what would I consider a good start here? Um, I think getting the modern axe would be amazing. It gets your camp set up a lot easier. I remember this place before. Me and Adam made a base here once. And uh, it was uh, it was a bit rough, though. We did get attacked quite a bit. <laughs> Uh, the cannibals don't care. They don't care about you at all. But uh, it would be a nice location, I think. The problem is getting up and down these things every time is a bit rough. I saw it. Oh my god, it's so tiny. Okay, no, no, no. What we're gonna make is we're gonna make a spear, okay? Oh, I'll show you how to combine it with the backpack. So, uh, you have your backpack here. You can combine items here to craft. So I would combine two sticks, and now you can make it into a spear. Then you want to combine it with the backpack, so you can actually put it in your... Uh, these are just basically your key bindings. This is all you got. You get four. So, uh, one is soda, two is booze, three is plain axe, and four is meds. We're going to switch that up as fast as we can. But the first one now is going to be this. And this is going to make it much easier to hunt. You can throw it, or you can stab. And honestly, over there, we could have stabbed. That was so cute. It was so tiny. Was it like a squirrel? I don't know. I don't know where it went. Please, little squirrel, come back. I won't hurt you. I promise. I promise. Well, the reason why it was probably a good idea to check down here is because we are going to need a turtle shell to get our water collector going. And uh, you can find it usually on the beaches, uh, most especially on beaches like this. And I guess since we are here, let's go into the water. In hard survival, you do need to swim a bit, so you can increase your stamina overall. Uh, if you go to your little book... Let me get out of here before I drown. Uh, so I, I press B, and over here, I believe it's... yeah, this one. It will show you all your stats. Uh, you have sanity, you have strength, which is oh, going up. It's not bad. Uh, you have weight that's going up, uh, because I have eaten more calories than I've burnt so far. And athleticism that's staying pretty steady. You can get this higher, and then it'll make it much easier to fight. It'll make it much easier to just be. So, uh, I would definitely recommend working on that. How you increase your strength is just every time you swing. Some people cheese it and just swing at nothing for a really long time to get some strength up. I mean, it's one way to do it. But it's not really, uh, it's not really anything I want to do. I don't want to sit there and swing at the air. For, uh, I don't know, an insane amount of time. But let's go up here. Uh, the plan for today is not to sleep, right? We could set up camp, but I just don't have time. Uh, you, it will be so much slower with the regular axe than the modern axe. And it will also be really bad. I'll get attacked, and I, I don't believe I can get done in one day. So I've tried before to get uh, a full uh, tree house done in a location that I liked. And it takes me a while to find the exact location that I want in the first place. And then from there, I just couldn't... I couldn't build it fast enough. I really couldn't. I tried. You have to go get rope or you have to go get cloth to make rope. So uh, that also takes a little bit of time. 
So getting it done by day one, it's possible. I mean, I've done it before, but it's, it's, a, it's a lot of hurrying around and I don't like it. Okay, I think, I think we made it, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there's those islands right here. So, okay, so you can see it was pretty easy. If you make it to the, the ocean, you go left whenever you see the, the yacht. Le left if you're facing the ocean, of course. And you just follow the, follow the path until you find this. This is also going to be really nice. Hopefully there's no cannibals here to kill me. But, uh, this looks pretty cool, huh? I, I would like to get some of this stuff. Let's open this suitcase. Maybe it'll give us something nice. Ooh, yes, explosives. I, I have never actually used the dynamite in this game. Oh, cool. I get a new outfit and I didn't have to stab the, the flight attendant for it. So that's good. We have a little bit of rope, so that now a treehouse is viable. But I wouldn't I wouldn't stay with the treehouse too long. <gasps> a bird. I want him so bad. Uh, we'll make a, a meat dryer and everything. But you follow the little path here, and you will end up at the main village. Uh, this is a little bit dangerous. A little bit dangerous, mind you. I think three is my axe. It is indeed. Uh, you can fish in those little ponds, but I don't know if they respawn. And you can see there's... There's a few cannibals in there. Right, we can just go around the, the area here since there's so many cannibals. And you can sneak with left control. It just makes you a little bit less visible. Not a whole lot less visible, mind you, but... Yeah, depending on where you go, if you get behind bushes, behind, you know, trees and stuff, it'll make it a bit easier. Oh, man. I can't remember exactly where it was, but I know it's by here. Somewhere. Alright. There's some hanging heads right now. Don't look at that, okay? We can... We can make it out of here alive. You just have to believe. Uh, where was it? Where was it? Maybe it's in the center of the... Of the place? I don't want to run in there without knowing for sure. Ooh, hello. Give me some cloth. Thank you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, guys. It's not here. But I'm coming to this little area anyway to loot. We gotta get our loots on, you know? Maybe I shouldn't be crouching. There's nothing here. Okay, let's grab the suitcase. Another set of clothing. Okay. This outfit looks pretty good. I think I will, I will stick with it, even though I can't see myself. Yeah, I'm a boy, guys. Alright, it's fine. Oh, and another outfit. Well, well, well. We have options. Can't say I, um... Can't say I'm sad to see her that. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so it's, it looks like there's another hut... Off to the side here. More cloth. I will take this. We're just looting everything we can. Then hopefully we can make it into a cave or something tonight so we don't die. Oh, well, well. A little pebble. Oh! <gasps> yes! Yes, dude! Oh, paint! Oh, this is so good! Okay. Um, so this, this red paint, it washes off if it rains, mind you. But other than that, it's going to be really, really helpful. What it does is it makes the cannibals not want to attack us when they come to us. They just kind of bow down and start praying. It's really weird. It might have something to do with that red guy. And now we are one of them. One of them. And now there's a picture of uh, what looks like a man giving a child a weapon. That's uh, that's that's not good. That's not good. It's, it's ominous, to say the least. Now, I never actually finished the story, guys. And I really want to know what happened to my child. I also have never killed the latest, the latest guy, whatever his name is, the little sausage man. Never, because I stopped playing before he came out. So, uh, there's a lot of things here that are left to explore that I have never been through, so to speak. So, uh, I think that's pretty cool. Let's kill this effigy. I'm going to grab these. Hopefully they don't see us, hopefully they don't mind. And we're going to go to tap really quickly, and you can put together a stick and a skull to make yourself this. It's honestly pretty cool. Oh, let's combine them. <laughs> let's do that. And we'll put it as two. Right. So now... Yes. We have this. It's a better weapon, I feel, than the regular plain axe. The plain axe is alright, but it's not as good as this. Alright, so we're investigating the main cannibal village. This is super risky, but since it's early in the game, there's not going to be too many crazy cannibals here. I know there's a bird, but I'm probably capped on meat. And my food and water situation is getting a little bit worse. Uh, luckily, on day one, you don't have to worry too much. 
you do have some cans of goods, and maybe you picked up a candy or two. That should hold you over, at least till day two, so you can get yourself a meat drying station or whatever it's called. A meat sh rack or whatever. And you can get yourself uh, going on some sort of base. But team, I have no idea where this entrance is. It's somewhere near this village. Oh, I'm already full on gas. But I don't know exactly where. If it's... Oh my god, there's another one of these. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, that scared me so much. And I want it. I want it so badly. It will give me a little bit more camouflage as well. Hey. I'm full on rock. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. This is it. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's a, that's a body in there. Oh, I could pick up some rope too. Am I too greedy? Am I too greedy right now? Huh? No, no, no. I'm not too greedy. Uh, and those are, those are some drinks, some soda. I probably do want to get that if the cannibal is not going to kill me. Cannibal, you don't want me. You don't want me, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Give me, give me all the soda. Uh, I'm not going to have water for a while, so this is good. This is really good. And I, I, you probably want to save it for an emergency. I mean, don't be so crazy like me. But I'm going to take that. I can't really carry too much more, so maybe it's not even a good idea to keep going. We're going down here. I'm pretty sure this is it. You can tell it is uh, a little bit ominous, to say the least. But uh, we could do this, right? That's, uh, uh, I'm scared. But let's go in. Now we're going to go descend upon this mess. You can turn your lighter on. You. Oh my god. Oh no. This is the wrong entrance for sure. Um. Um. Okay, well, we're going down. I have no idea what's going on, but I'm terrified. Let's pick this up. Unless they've added something here, this should have been fairly safe. Here's the map. Now we have it under M. Let's get this. And here is the skull. Let's put that away for a second. Let's crouch again. I think there was a compass here as well. <gasps> There's a book from our child. A jealous god punishes a parent's fault on their children. Oh no. They've done something. They've done something to our boy. Did I pick up the compass? I mean, there is something here. Something bad. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I was pretty sure the compass was here. Uh, let me... Oh, there's a coin. I'll take that. Let me tap really quickly. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. I don't know how much longer we can stay here. This doesn't look safe. We're probably going to try to get out of here as soon as we grab everything that we can. Very cool. Lock this thing open. It's got to get more dangerous down the way here. We probably want to be a little bit safe. And just grab whatever we can from here and get. I have no idea what's up ahead. But it's not going to be pretty. Let's just say that. Okay. Let me turn off my light. It's dark, guys. It's very dark. Gonna inch our way out of this mess. Around the corner here. We still have the red paint, I believe, so... Uh, we should be slightly, slightly okay. And we're gonna hide in the bushes. <laughs> like absolute cowards. I, I need to find something to drink. So we're gonna drink our soda. Luckily we have a snack here. We have some raw fish, if you can see here, and small meat. We can make a campfire, and that will allow us to eat it. But it's going to be difficult. Like, it's gonna be scary to make a campfire at night. I think some come and attack me. So I still have a candy. I will go ahead and take that and hope for the best. 
And we're making our way out somehow out of this cannibal village. Um, the map should now tell us exactly sort of where we are. And we are somewhere right there at the bottom. I think we need to be a little bit more centrally located for the modern axe. I can't exactly remember where it was. But let's go northwest, right? Uh, here we go. Somewhere this way, yeah? Off we go. On an adventure. I am worried. I'm very worried. But maybe we won't run into anything, right? Maybe we'll get lucky. Nothing will attack us. Oh my god. Oh my god, did we make it? Crouch. Um... This might not be the cave, but it's a cave. Alright, guys. Uh, we're going in. We're going in. Okay. Now that we're inside the cave, believe it or not, it's safer to make a campfire here than it is out there. Uh, you can still get attacked by maybe a cannibal in here, and I think there is a cannibal here. But it's going to be much easier for us to cook this. Let's go ahead and cook our little meats. We'll cook it in portions. Uh, that way we can pick it up and it won't burn. And then I think three might be more than enough. I can try to cook the uh, the lizard. And the lizard will give me a lot of calories. But it's still fresh. So I'm hoping that maybe tomorrow I'll be able to put a drying rack and actually get that going. We're going to try to save our last candy for an emergency. Okay, here we go. We gotta eat. We'll drink a little bit of uh, a little bit of soda. It restores your energy as well, so it's pretty good. And uh, for some reason, I, I'm not fully healed, so we could take a, a medicine to heal up. But we'll probably do that after we fight, because guys, yeah, we're gonna have to fight. Let's try to go around this. And uh, here we go. Here we go. If I remember correctly, there are two. Two cannibals here. So let's go ahead and combine this here. Maybe combine some booze and some cloth. Remove that guy. Make a couple of Molotovs. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Is it necessary? Probably not. But am I doing it? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's light this up. Got one. We got one. It hit us though. We weren't super careful. Money. We gotta find the other guy. It looked like they were praying to us because we have the red paint. So uh, maybe we didn't need the Molotovs. Oh. Hey, dude. I'm your friend. I'm your friend. Pray to me again. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay. Got him. All right. Well, we took a significant amount of damage. Granted. But it's fine. Well, let's just drop him. Uh, we can just combine these two together. That's good. Light it up. And we're going to throw this 
on him. This will burn him, hopefully. There he goes. And that should give us some bones, which are going to be pretty useful if we're going to make ourselves some gear at some point. Oh, here's the guy. I will carry you, my friend. To hopefully the campfire so I don't have to light up this thing again. Okay, we'll light this thing up. Looks like it's daytime over there, so that's pretty good. We'll toss him, get our bones. I could cook something as well. I mean, we might as well cook the lizard. I know it's kind of disgusting, but <laughs> we're getting hungry again. Oh no. There we go. We'll light it up. Put the lizard in there. It's a little bit gross, you know, us cooking the lizard right next to, you know, the cannibal body, but yeah, we gotta do what we gotta do, you know? We don't need people. We're gonna eat a lizard instead. Did this thing cook? Still raw. This campfire has totally failed me. So there are two lights. There's that one and this one. And I can't quite remember which one it was. So, uh... We currently might be going the absolutely worst way possible. But we're going this way. So, uh... I'm pretty sure it's this way. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure. One way leads to absolute death and destruction. And the other way leads to victory. And we'll see which one we end up at. Can I hear anything down here? Only nothingness. This rope is eternal. Just to make me question why I'm even doing this in the first place. It looks... ...cleared so far. Well, other than the crispy bodies. Ooh. And the body chunks. We'll crouch. In case. I, I don't know if there's anything any other way. I don't... It doesn't look like it. Oh. Look. Burnt babies. Burnt babies. And here we are. Okay. We are in the right... We are in the right spot. My memory has not failed me. Not entirely. All right. Oh my god. I heard something. Okay. Well. Um. Here's obviously some stuff they stole from the plane. Oh, more red paint. Um, I don't know if I should keep that here. I don't know if it respawns, guys, so... Maybe I take it easy a bit and don't take everything. Uh, we have arrows. Okay, that's good. Uh, I can't carry any more. That's dynamite. More arrows. I don't have a bow, but, you know... For the future. I gotta, gotta stay prepared. And here it is. What we came here for. The axe. Uh, we got plenty of drinks. In fact, uh, let's go ahead and drink another one. I mean, if we're fine, we might as well drink one and take one with us. And, uh, some cloth. Alright, we'll have to come back here again. Oh, we, we have too much rope. Uh, let's see if we can make something with the rope. What are our options here? So if you just mouse over the little cogwheel here, you'll see that you can make yourself some stuff. Uh, we haven't killed any rabbits, so we can't make any rabbit or any stick bags or anything like that. Uh, a rock bag, I believe that's a boar. If I can read that correctly. The other ones require other animal skins. Uh, snowshoes is just two... Two ropes and five sticks. We can actually get that done. We only have one tiny skin and it's a lizard. Uh, so... We can get this. And now we have snowshoes. I mean, we, we're not going there yet, but... Yeah, if we, we might as well. And now we can take this rope with us. Yeah, you know, we gotta be efficient. Now some of these you can break down. Oh, a paintbrush. Hello, friend. But yeah, that's been it, guys. We actually got so much done today. It was insane. Uh, I, we got a modern axe. Somehow I didn't get lost. Thank you, map. And we got our map. We got our compass. Everything is looking swell. Now, from here, though, team, I don't remember much. I'll be honest. Uh, this is all I remember because I've done this particular part several times. And the reason why I've done this many, many times is because, well, th this is the most important components to basically any of your survival. Anything after this is just a plus. Like, if you want to go get yourself the katana, go get yourself the katana. You'll be fine. You'll do, you'll do better. You'll do a nice amount of damage. But is it really, yeah, is, it, is it like the most necessary thing ever? No, you can fight with the modern axe just fine. You have the modern axe, you have the spear. Yeah, the katana is good, it's quick. 
but it's not gonna do like a whole lot more damage than than the axe overall. So this thing is basically the best thing you, you, you could get. And then from here is just up to you, I suppose. We still have the red paint, so uh, try not to get wet because I'm pretty sure that will remove it. And since we don't have blood on us anymore, I think it's fine. I didn't pick up the other red paint. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that maybe it'll still be there if we need it some other day. Maybe we're going to a more scary cave and we'll need it. But for now, I believe I just follow to the left, right? And we'll be out of here. No, nope, that's not it. That is not it, my friend. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Let's not go deeper into that cave. I have no idea what's in here. I don't remember that well. I just know that this is where these items were. And we've accomplished it. We've accomplished our mission. Which was to get the map, get the axe. Now we're good to go. Oh, and we're so lucky. It's morning. What a day. What a day indeed. Okay, team. I think the next step is to find somewhere to build. I will make myself like a temporary shelter of sorts. And that's where we're going to be spending the night tonight. Here's the lake. I have based on that rock before. And the cannibals can't actually get to you. But they will throw stuff at you. There are some fire cannibals that will. So it's not super safe to base anywhere that you can't defend actively. So we're going to come out here. Oh, and we're back at the yacht. Oh my god, this was so close to the yacht. I didn't know. Oh, okay, so perfect. Perfect, perfect. I'm actually going to be useful, guys, okay? What you can do at the start of the game is just try to go east if you can find east. If you see a mountain, just hang a left from the mountain, right? If you're staring at the mountain, hang a left because I know for sure there's a mountain right there. And then you'll eventually reach what looks like some armpit coming out of the forest. Uh, you can go ahead and see that that's a nice little area for building. Uh, it will definitely give you a huge, huge building terrain. And then you will see the... Oh my god, and there's even a turtle. And then you will see the yacht. And from the yacht, you can take this path. Is this thing dead? Stab it a little bit more. <laughs> I'm so sorry, turtle. I just need your shell. Uh, this shell here is super valuable. It will allow us to make ourselves uh, some water catchers, which would be great. We're getting hungry. Let's try to catch a little bit of birdage. Thank you, birds. I appreciate you. I appreciate you very much. Okay, let's eat this lizard. Yummy. Delicious. That helped a bit. And now we have a couple more meats that we... Oh my god, there's another turtle. Huh. It's so tempting. It's so tempting, but I I'm not going to be able to kill it. There's no reason to kill them. You can only carry one of these shells at a time. So I can go build it and then uh, take the turtle, but that's it. Can't take the turtle and then and then build it. This is such a lovely place, guys. I actually really like this. What if we use the boat as sort of our backup base? I wonder if we can make any storage on it. I actually have never tried. So we could settle near the beach and yeah, it would still be dangerous. Uh, there will be a lot of patrols, but... Maybe we'll be okay. I'm worried about the top. That's the only thing. Oh, gotta eat these quickly. Now, in Heart Survival, you do have to watch out for your calories. Like I said before, if you check your your book here, and I don't actually know how to open it exactly at the, at the right location, but you'll see that we've eaten a lot more calories than we've burnt. That means that we're gonna gain weight. Uh, it's, it's okay. Oh no, we're sick. Oh, get some rest. We're gonna get some rest. All right, that's fine. Uh, we want to smack that because that will attract some of the cannibals. We don't want that. We don't want that at all. Hey, little turtle, don't worry. We're not going to go after you. We're friends. We're friends. Okay. Change of plans. It is raining, so that means our red paint is gone. That means that anything that comes and attacks us now is going to have a free time. They're going to get us. So I am going to swim to that yacht. It is going to be the safest thing we can do. Maybe we can even sleep there if I remember correctly. There was a bed. So this is our first day strategy. We haven't slept. We might be eaten by a shark. I don't actually know. But I think uh, it's all going to work out in the end. You know, if we are able to get here and this place is safe. Ah, oh, there we go. It is. It's safe. It's lovely. Why wouldn't we live here? This is what I'm saying. Right? If you had these kind of resources, if you had a yacht, and this was a world of cannibals that didn't swim, why wouldn't you just live here? <laughs> why? 
<laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Oh, I picked up a cassette tape. I can't pick up this rope. That's okay. Uh, we're probably going to make a base off of here. I, I haven't decided exactly where. But this is a good spot to start. Hello, magazine. Yet, this is what I mean. We have entertainment over here. I picked up a cassette tape through the roof somehow. Um, there's a kitchen. Ooh, a keypad that's locked. I've never, I've never gone in there, by the way, guys. Like I said, I just never focus on the story. Oh my god, a little teddy bear on the yacht. Well, this did not go well, guys. This did not go well. Um, I, I feel they have given into the cannibalism. They couldn't figure out a way to survive. Okay, we have a, a little legsy picture. That's terrifying. Ooh, some oxygen tanks. Oh, I didn't even remember those were here. Candy, that's good. Oh, a missing child thing. That's not ominous at all. In a kitchen. That's what I'm telling you guys. You have all sorts of comfort here, too. You have little chairs. Oh, okay. Oh, we can save. Perfect. And we can sleep. Oh, uh, let's do that, guys, because we are a bit... A bit cold. And, uh... I, I don't want to die. Let's go. Good night. I have to figure out where I want to live. I think that's the next step. Uh, I'm thinking, team, it's going to be somewhere around here. It's just for, for the easiness of things. I will probably just place a base here. It's not going to be the safest spot, mind you, but it's going to be a decent spot. Uh, we should have some meat still left over. It's edible. We have some snacks. We have some, some soda. We collected an immense amount of items today, as well as I was able to show you somehow how to get the modern axe. I was able to show you how to get the map. We're actually doing fantastic. Uh, with this thing, we will be able to fight a lot better. We will be able to chop down many trees and build ourselves a shelter. A place where we can farm, where we can hunt, where we can survive until we can find out what happened to our boy Timmy. But I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed our first adventure in the forest. Yes, we almost died to two peasant cannibals. Those are the easiest cannibals, by the way. <laughs> but, you know, hard survival, guys. It's a tough life out there. But we're going to be just fine. Just fine. But let me know if you enjoyed this episode, if you enjoyed this game. Um, I'm hoping to be able to play Sons of the Forest, so that's really why I want to find out what happened in this story. And uh, share it with you guys. So hopefully we can be ready for our next adventure. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye.